Good morning everyone on a very special but at the same time very strange day. It is this time of the year uh, that our emotions are really heightened. Whether it's grief, gladness, expectations, sadness, they are always heightened at this time of the year. And over the years, I have found that the shops and public start preparing for Christmas earlier and earlier in the year. From August onwards, we find the Christmas cards in the shops. And then the day comes and um, it's very quickly over. Some of us really look forward to Christmas because it's a time when we celebrate with friends and family and we want to give them good gifts and we want to feed them good food and have a good time together. But actually we've got the entire year to do that if we think about it. Somehow, for some reason, we want to do it at Christmas time. And the reason for that is because Jesus was born on that day. We are not always aware of it. There is this expectation that Christmas needs to be good. But that's the reason why. And there's all this expectation to do it well, but many of us are not able to do it well. It is either for health reasons or financial reasons or both of them, but many of us are not able to fulfill our expectations or the way we would like to do it. And there are those of us who really dread Christmas because we are on our own. We've got nobody to celebrate it with. It's just another day and Everyone's expectations are high and people come and ask us what we're doing for Christmas and we're not doing anything different. And we just feel really miserable because we're not fulfilling everyone's expectations. And then there are some of us who have lost loved ones. And it's this time of the year we remember it. We remember the Christmases we've spent together and we no longer can. It was only a few days ago I was in the shops and uh, behind the counter of Lakeland was this tall young man and, and I just looked and to me at that point he looked so much like a very close family member we lost a few years ago. And I just couldn't stop myself from feeling really shaken. And I was going around the shops with my eyes filled with tears. And uh, I would normally really miss this person anyway. But somehow it just went so deep. And that happens to all of us. But we must never ever forget that it is not about us. Christmas is not about us. And in fact, life isn't about us. Because when it is about us, we either get incredibly selfish or we get miserable. But when it's for a bigger purpose, we live our lives for that bigger purpose. And that bigger purpose is really what happened on this day. God sent his very own son to be born as a child on Christmas Day. And he came and he lived a short life and knowingly and lovingly he went to the cross so that we might live. And it is because he came and because he made history that we worldwide celebrate this very special day. It genuinely has nothing to do with our loved ones, 
it's got nothing to do with how much food we eat, how many presents we give, whether our house is clean or not. By the way, I've been doing housework for the last three days. But it's not about that at all. It is about Jesus. And on this day, I would like to wish you a very, very happy Christmas, a joyous Christmas, where the love of God might go deep within your hearts and your minds, and you might know how much you love and what an amazing purpose he has for your lives. And I pray that all your heart's desires and dreams will be fulfilled because of the goodness of God. Have a wonderful day, whatever your circumstances.